Okay, so today I am sitting here somewhat uncomfortably behind and underneath some of the heaviest drums that I could find over at West Coast Drum Shop. I just went next door, thought it might be fun to make a video with some of the heavier drums. We've got some cool boutique drums than some major manufacturer drums in the shop. I wanted to grab the heavy ones and just compare them back to back and see what we could find. So I want to do a basic profile in each drum and then of course compare them, but bear in mind that this is not a perfect apples to apples comparison. These are from small builders as well as major manufacturers and they absolutely do not come out of the box set up the same. They've got different hardware, they've got different snare wires, they've got different heads that they use. So don't expect this to be a perfect scientific back to back on a comparison between the shell specifically or anything other than just trying to capture the specific vibe of that drum as you would get it basically out of the box. That said, I have tuned them to be as close as possible at sort of a medium high tuning. And then I've also done the two lug nearest you detuning trick to see what they all sound like lower. So first up, going in order from lightest to heaviest, we have this McIntyre Drum Company heavy stainless steel three millimeter shell, six and a half by 14 snare. This one obviously has a stunning bright yellow finish. We also have triple flange hoops, a coated vintage emperor on the top. This one weighs in at almost 15 pounds. Next heaviest, weighing in at just over 17 pounds, we have the PDP Concept Select. This is a bell bronze, three millimeter cast bronze shell. It's a six and a half by 14 inch drum. We've got triple flange hoops as well as PDP's stock single ply coated top head. And it sounds like this. Next up, weighing in over 21 pounds is the Danette Sledge Snare. This is also a six and a half by 14, and it's three millimeters of carbon steel. We of course have Danette's proprietary cold rolled hoops, as well as a Rezo coped top head. And it sounds like this. Last but certainly not least, at least when it comes to weight, is the Savage Custom Drums. This is a five millimeter sand cast copper shell from Cade Cap up in Bellingham. Great friend of the shop. He's been doing some amazing work the past few years and this is a perfect example of it. This drum weighs in at almost 25 pounds and is outfitted with black nickel die cast hoops as well as a coated Power Stroke 3 top head.
So now that you've heard them all, what do you think? Which was your favorite? Personally, I feel like I had the most fun playing the Danette, playing the Sledge Snare. But shell thickness in general is sort of an interesting topic for me. We know how important shell dimensions are. We know how important other elements are, like the drum head. We've talked a little bit on this channel about how important the uh, shell material may or may not be. The shell thickness is kind of an interesting one that I haven't delved too deeply into, and it's interesting playing all of these very thick and uh, very heavy drums. So I wanna know what your thoughts are on just heavy drums in general. What did you hear in this comparison, and any other thoughts you might have on the matter, and things I should think about and compare in the future? So let me know, and I'm gonna cut this off before I cut off the circulation to my legs. Thank you for watching, see you next time.